Hi there. So for this question, we had to solve these two simultaneous equations. And you can see the answers were x equals minus a half, y equals 3. Or you could have had the other solution as well, x equals minus 4, y equals minus 4. So just to take you through the method, in case there are any problems, you do this by substitution method. And you'll notice we number the equations. I've numbered them 1 and 2. And look at the easier of the two equations, which is clearly number 1. It's a linear equation. There's no powers on it. So rearrange it. Make y the subject. It's going to be a lot easier than making x the subject. So if you make y the subject, you create y equals 2x plus 4. And then you substitute that equation, which I've numbered 3, into equation 2. So wherever there's a y, we replace it with 2x plus 4. So you're going to get 4x squared then, okay? Plus, instead of y squared, 2x plus 4 squared. And then you got the plus 20x, and that equals 0. Just expand the bracket here, 2x plus 4 times another 2x plus 4, and that gives us 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. And then what I've done is I've simplified it, just grouped up my terms. It equals 0 because we've got a quadratic equation here. I've divided through by 4, as you can see, to give me 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 equals 0. And then you can factorise this. If you can't factorise it, you can always use the quadratic formula. But it factorises nicely, 2x plus 1 times x plus 4. And then each of these two factors would be equal to 0. And you've got then 2x plus 1 equals 0, or x plus 4 equals 0. And that leads to x equals minus a half, or x equals minus 4. So we take each of these values. When x is minus a half, I've substituted it into equation 3 here to give me y turns out to be 3. Similarly, when x is minus 4, substitute that 2 into 3, and you end up with y equal minus 4. Summarize then in the end, and you've got your two answers. Okay?